This month, on December 8th, we begin the Jubilee Year of Mercy. It is fitting then and no accident that Pope Francis asks us to pray this month for God's mercy. Welcome to the Apostleship of Prayer. I'm Will, and I want to reflect with you on Pope Francis' universal prayer intention for December 2015. Specifically, he asks us to pray that all may experience the mercy of God who never tires of forgiving. When Pope Francis first announced the year of mercy, he said, Jesus Christ is the face of the Father's mercy. And he, and he goes on to say that this could very well summarize the entirety of the gospel message. Jesus Christ, in his life, death, and resurrection, reveals to us the mercy of God the Father. And this is good news. It's the good news. God was not willing, is not willing, to leave us trapped in our sinfulness and brokenness. He has mercy on us. And although this is cause for rejoicing, for sure, it's also important to, rem to remember that God's mercy can be challenging for us and for others. Sometimes we can be too prideful to admit that we even need God's mercy. We want, to, we want to do things on our own. We don't need God's mercy. At other times, it's, it's also really easy for us to doubt God's mercy. Sometimes we can even doubt that's, that God's merciful without even realizing it. It's always important to remember Pope Francis' words. He says, Mercy will always be greater than any sin. And no one can place limits on the love of God who is ever ready to forgive. God never tires of forgiving us. He wants to forgive us more than we want forgiveness. And so this month and during this spe special Jubilee of Mercy, let us pray that everyone, ourselves included, may experience God's mercy. And experiencing God's mercy, may we be called to a deeper conversion, to a deeper love of God and a deeper love of, of neighbor. This month, we pray with Pope Francis that all may experience the mercy of God who never tires of forgiving. Amen. Thank you for praying with us.